I just get a new project and I need to staff it. So I need to make a real quick decision. Now, as the project manager, I got to assign people to my project. And this new project from a very experienced client of ours is going to give us some high dollars. Well, Mark can be, uh, he's available for 25 hours a week. And Janet, she can be available for 20 hours. Now, she's my ace. She's got the leadership and organization skills I need. But I really need somebody available. I got this new guy, Stephen, and he's going to be available for 40 hours every week. But he doesn't have any experience. Yeah, what should I do? What should I do? Do I go with the experience or do I go with the hours? I think I got it. I'm going to go with the people. I'm going to go with Steven. He's got the most hours available. I don't need the experience. Let's do that. Great plan, Dr. McNally. I would go with Janet as she's your ace and has the skills and experience you need. Since we differ in opinions, let's look into experience versus potential a bit more before making a decision. So according to author and leadership educator Liz Wiseman, across industries, experienced people outperform inexperienced people, which makes sense, but it's only by a small margin. So I modified Liz's S-curve to include our two candidates. We have Janet, we have Steven. Janet hits the ground running. She's competent. She'll be able to contribute right away. Steven's going to have to ascend a learning curve before able to contribute. There's a few phases in the learning curve. There's an ignorance phase where, hmm, how hard can this project be? An awareness phase, oh shoot, this project's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And then there's a desperation phase. This is where the most powerful form of learning occurs, and then you start to contribute shortly after. Steven has the time to learn, but is he willing to take the journey up the learning curve? I don't know, Dr. McNally. It can be a leap of faith hiring for potential. So let's ask LinkedIn. Who would you hire?